What's going on everyone? Frey Skater back again for episode 3 of your CQ&A. This is your daily uh, episode where we actually take one comment, one question, and we address them and answer them if we can for all of our viewers. So it's a little bit more interactive way to keep in touch with you guys. So let's get into it guys. Thanks for watching. guys today we're coming from north of kansas city missouri uh we're waiting on a uh a smithfield load headed to north carolina but uh I, I gotta tell you guys i don't know if anybody that comments like some of this stuff you guys think that like you're gonna get me or anybody else upset but it's so comical what blows me away is that some of you viewers that have never actually been to prime or experienced prime or have ever leased a truck or anything or maybe you did lease a truck but it wasn't with prime and you failed you'd like to cut everybody else down so i just can't get enough of these comments anyways we're gonna go to comment number one and this comes from uh chicken butt deluxe what kind of a name is that the kind i got i guess this is off of the top 30 reasons to lease with prime inc video which is i did a while ago Chicken Butt Deluxe says three weeks ago, every reason begins with the words, if you're stupid. So I guess the top 30 reasons he's saying every reason in that video begins with, if you're stupid, you will lease with Prime. This is coming from a guy whose name is Chicken Butt Deluxe. How can I explain this to you differently? Now, I just want to point that out if anybody didn't get that. Uh, but secondly, Chicken Butt Deluxe, I would love to hear your experience, okay? If you haven't experienced anything, why would you even make a comment like that? What, just to deter other people? Or if you have experienced it and failed, is it just to deter other people so they can't be, succeed? It's getting old, guys. I mean, be an adult, act your age, it's ridiculous. Bottom line is, guys, you can be as successful as you wanna be here at Prime, it's up to you. Prime's got all the tools at your fingertips. They're not shafting anybody. They're not throwing any kind of veil over you to say, hey, you're going to get this, but you're not. No, it's up to you. You can be as profitable, as effective operators you want to be, as efficient operators you want to be. It's up to you. Everything's here. It's just waiting on you. All right. Now let's get to the, the question part of our video here. So this was on the... Uh, hours of service part one video i did a while back uh understanding hours of service basic tips and tricks and uh what i'll start doing is i'll start putting the links for each of these videos that we do a comment and a question on down in the, uh, the description below of each cq a so uh ronnie sterl says so if you manage to drive eight days instead of six you don't have to take the 34-hour reset it's a good question ronnie but it's in a different context than than what you should be asking it's not about driving the eight days. It's about being the, having the ability to drive the eight days. So the only way to do that is in the video, we talk about uh, 70 hour clocks. So when you start off with your 70 that the DOT gives you, you have 70 hours in an eight day period to run those 70 hours. Well, if you take 70 and you divide it by eight, that gives you a, uh, a an answer to that equation of eight hours, 0.75. So if you talk about hours, 0.75 would be 45 minutes. So as long as you keep your drive time with your on duty combined per 24 hour period at no more than eight hours and 45 minutes, you will be able to consistently run constantly. You never stop. You can always get a recap every single day at midnight, whatever time zone your company's based out of. We're based out of central time zone in Missouri. So every day at 12 o'clock midnight, 0000, 000, 000 military time, our 24 hour cycle changes. So we get a new 24 hour cycle to start with. So every 24 hour cycle, you wanna keep it to eight hours and 45 minutes max. On duty plus drive time. So that's everything added together. Some people don't like doing that. Some people like running their entire clocks out every single day. 
Um, they like running it from midnight to 11, run 11 hours, get a 10 hour break, which will put you starting at 9 p.m. again. And they like taking off at nine and running another 11. That's fine. Run how you want to run. For me, the most profitable way to run is balance hours and make money every single day of the week. Not run five and a half, six days and have to stop for a day and a half. So guys, if you're balancing your hours out, you will be able to run consistently. You won't ever have to stop. Some people like doing the reset every week and that's cool. For me, I'm looking at sitting for 34 hours like, man, there's a day and a half I could have been making money. Different strokes, different folks. Do you. That's the best thing about trucking. There's a million ways you can truck. Nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong unless you're absolutely being unsafe. That's the only way you can be doing it wrong. So guys, that's it for your daily CQ&A. If you haven't liked, subbed, or shared the channel yet, please do that, guys, and get that knowledge out there. Give it to somebody else that may need it. Um, it doesn't take but a few seconds to do. It means a lot to me, and it means a lot to other YouTube creators that are actually out here doing this and hustling. So I hope you like our view, too, because I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I had a buddy of mine. He's been a long-time viewer. He says, Freight, you'll never, now that you're reefer, you'll never be out of the cab. You'll just be one of those guys that stay in the cab constantly. So I'm going to try to find more unique ways to actually stay out of the cab. But until next one, guys, stay safe. God bless. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Break out.